Hi everybody, I hope that you're all doing well. Welcome to the channel. This is a general and timeless reading. Before we get started, let's set the intention for this to be a space where everyone allows themselves to feel seen and validated, and ultimately for this to be a safe space and a healing space in alignment with everyone's highest good. If I sound a little congested, I'm not sick. Had my face in a bunch of flowers today, it's just allergies. So what this looks like is that you're kind of in a lull, like a bit of a resting period before you go into something. You may be trying something new or there may be a new experience that's coming up. For some of you, there's like um, a portal that you're going to be entering. I don't know what exactly this entails, but this is just what I'm seeing. For those of you that are new, I channel as well as interpret the tarot cards so I get information coming through intuitively. Let's see what's going on for you. So yeah, if you have time to sort of like take a break or relax or you're not as busy maybe with work or with clients or you have the opportunity to take time off, you may be doing that right now actually because it seems like there's something that you're going to be going into head first so you may be sort of gathering your strength right now or just getting a chance to relax and enjoy things could also be a focus on like centering and grounding and getting connected with your guides meditating whatever it is that you do that brings a sense of mm, gets you in touch with your serenity Seeing the King of Pentacles with the Seven of Swords on the bottom of the deck. This can mean, this can mean like keeping yourself busy or so many different things that it can mean. With the King of Pentacles, it can be like overindulging or like over consuming when it comes to work, making work everything not balancing things out. What it looks like is there's actually going to be a big change that's associated with maybe how you've been seeing yourself, work that you've been doing. For some of you, you could be going through an alteration or a change with your work or with your job um, or with a role that you've been playing. I'm seeing the death card next to the King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles is, I see this being associated with um, like the work that we do and the roles that we play that are, that affect and touch other people or other things. Where the Queen of Pentacles can be more so like in the privacy of your home, what you're doing and what's going on with your body and stuff like that. I see the King of Pentacles as being like the MC within your birth chart, which is like your more public persona and how you are connecting with people. And Pentacles are physical. To have the death card here, there's something liquid, there's something emotional, there's something watery that's going on here where you may have like a change in mind or a change in perception about something that you're doing, like a role that you're playing or even how you see yourself, how you're labeling yourself if you're labeling yourself, um, the constraints of those labels as well. You may be reimagining or rethinking like your purpose of like why am I doing this job why is this important to me or do I want to play another role um do I feel like I'm really able to meet my potential doing this is there something else that I want to be exercising so I'm seeing this more so be a psychological thing for you so what this means is that for some of you you could actually be like changing changing to a different job or something like that or there could be like a big life change or a transition for others of you you may still you may still be doing the same job but you can I don't know if you guys can hear O. O is talking in the background some of you, this may be a psychological change where you could still be doing the same stuff that you're doing, but like the intention, the intention behind it has changed um, or your perception has changed. Um, what this is bringing up is there being a focus of like when we start, um, when we start moving up levels when it comes to our perspective and um, moving up higher on planes of 
differing planes of consciousness. It's not our, our environment that changes, it's our awareness that changes. And so there may be something here like that that's going on here. Like whether or not your environment changes, that's not the point of this, even though that can be part of what's going on. The main point is like your perspective of this situation and how you're seeing things and how that mentality is evolving and how that even like spiritual perception awareness understanding is evolving of you and why you're here and what you're doing and what you're meant to do and there may be a change that's happening now where you've been doing something and you're like now I'm ready for something else or now I'm ready for something new or there's like a different intention behind why I'm creating what I'm creating <sighs> definitely something having to do with creativity The Empress is kind of like what we have within us um, that we may like contain at certain points in time and what we want to like express and birth through us. And so you may be doing something that's connected with other people or your job or your work that you're doing where um, you're infusing some type of like creativity or a creative project or something along those lines. And also the Empress is the divine feminine energy too, which all of us are the Empress and the Emperor as well. We all have divine feminine and divine masculine because they're just two different sides of the same coin. And we are that coin. To be in your divine feminine energy, you may be more receptive right now to listen and see where you're being guided or what you're being guided to like create or what's asking to be created through you um, or for you to like step into right now is the main point that's what i'm hearing i'm seeing this change look like it's really going to carry you through i'm not seeing this be stopped for anything i'm seeing something that's like definitely going to clear the path that it needs to clear and now I'm looking at the Ten of Cups. So this is you making some sort of change. So this is you assessing the roles that you're playing. This is you making the appropriate change. Again, the Divine Feminine the divine feminine energy i was going to say divine feminine masculine well this is like actually you infusing both of them because you're listening to what needs to change or be altered or what you're being called to do and then putting that to action would be your masculine energy so it is actually you doing both of these things so the roles that you play the titles that you give yourself the expectations that you have of yourself um things that you do for other people things that you do for yourself um your public persona business related things all of that the work that you do this is the change and you being open enough Change can be uncomfortable when we're moving through it. But I'm seeing that this is you being like, this is part of my pursuit of happiness. And so this is naturally the evolution that I'm going through. And this feels like you're really getting in touch with yourself, like listening to this, especially too, because the King of Pentacles can be like, well, I always thought I was going to grow up to do this, or I've been doing this job for 12 years, or like my father really expected me to be this, this, and this within life. And so this is you, again, tapping into your divine feminine energy and being like, but what am I hearing? What am I here for? I'm also hearing. What am I being called to do? And again, what, what wants to what do I want to play out? What do I want to live out? What am I supposed to be doing? And getting quiet enough to hear that. And this is what's happening now. And this is something that because you're getting in touch with yourself in that way, in a deep way, Scorpio is really getting down deep, like digging down to the bottom of what's going on. And this is you getting in touch with like, what is my heart calling me towards? Like what... What is inspiring to me? What is like activating me in a way where I really want to follow that? Like I'm, I'm hearing that and I want to go in that direction. So this is what I'm seeing you doing. I'm hearing important life call. I'm not hearing calling. I'm hearing call. Yeah. 
maybe a call like a decision, but it can be a call of like something that you're receiving as well. This is going to be the completion of a cycle for you. I'm definitely seeing you feel intuitively guided in this direction. So this would be like moving towards the things or the thing that is really lighting you up right now. The thing that would have you be like, I'm excited actually to get out of bed and do this. I feel like motivated. I feel inspired. Like something within me feels creative now. I don't feel like I'm hitting a block. I feel like a lot of stuff is coming through and I want to express that or I want to engage in that with that within that environment. There may also be a part of you that feels like a bit re resistant at times. So something has become clear and obvious to you about how you're feeling and what your intuition is really inviting you to do here. Because we're seeing the sun and that's going to like brighten up whatever it's next to. And we have this page of cups. What's coming up for you, what you're feeling, what you're tapping into, the messages from your intuition. Um, the messages carried by the emotions that you're experiencing, being present, which allows you to be there to decipher what your emotions are telling you. Yeah, some of you, I definitely get some like workaholic vibes. Like, it may be something that you really lean into, but it can definitely be something that gets out of control at times. I will say this as well. Like, it can just be, like, an overambitious energy where there's nothing... There's really no issue with being any sort of way. What I'm seeing here, to have the devil coming out with the king of pentacles, um, there can be an emphasis or a highlight of the Capricorn within your chart, especially those of you with a lot of Capricorn in your chart. Capricorn can be is associated with the MC and with like being a hard worker it's the devil is also associated with Saturn as well so this is like putting restrictions on yourself and like having these like really like regimented rules and regulations and like I can't do this or like I don't want to take that chance over there like really playing it safe and it can be getting so focused on the work and also on worldliness that we're using this to bypass spiritually and that's what this is coming down to like is there something that we're doing um is there something that's happening right now where you are potentially going to go through some sort of ego death and ego is like really anything any sort of title that we give ourselves psychosocial titles job titles anything like that where you're labeling yourself in some sort of way. There may be something that's associated with like your work or or productivity, things of that of like, I wanna be useful, I wanna be productive. Like I tie my self worth with like how useful I am or how much work I get done, how much money I have, how much money I make, the financial things that I have in my life, the resources that I have, the material things that I have within my life. This can be like really being like overcome and focused on this stuff. And to have Scorpio here, Scorpio is like the shedding of all of that. And so it looks like there's something that you're going through that's tied to something that like maybe even in society, this is like glorified and built up. And now there's like an unlearning that you're doing in a shedding. The concept that's coming through um, really reminds me strongly of the, I don't know if it's considered a movie, but um, 
just for the sake of making this clear, Ram Das has this picture that he made, this like movie we can call it. It's more of like a lecture sort of, and it's called Becoming Nobody, and that's really what this is reminding me of. And um, if you haven't seen it, I would definitely suggest watching it if you feel called to. Um, and it really dives into this concept that we're just like lightly touching on right now and what I'm talking about. I'm here in corporate America, so. What I'm getting to is that um, because of what's coming to light for you where like your pathway because we all have like different routes that we can take to navigate to get us from a to b and each of us may take a different route what i'm seeing as far as the pathway that you're walking down right now is you moving towards the things that like light you up the things that bring like electricity and energy and motivation and, and inspiration and like joy and happiness and put a smile on your face and warm your heart I'm seeing you move in this direction and I'm seeing your intuition really start to talk to you. I'm seeing your emotions starting to come up, maybe also starting to experience things or get connected in ways that you haven't felt before or haven't felt in a while. And I'm seeing this like burning sensation that you're feeling. I'm seeing this be um, not, a bad th not a bad thing. I'm seeing this more so be you sort of like warming up or thawing out or waking up. And I'm also seeing because of this switch and focus on things on like a more emotional energetic spiritual plane it's also giving you a higher spec a higher perspective of stuff that's going on in a worldly sense that you are connected with and for some of you this may actually be people that you associate with where you feel like there may be a, a little bit of a severing of paths that are happening here like you may be altering or changing who it is that you're hanging out with because you could have been around people that have been like reinforcing you to be in this space of like I need to be somebody like I'm again like my self-worth is tied to like how much money I'm making or how good I am at my job or me doing this thing that's not really resonating with me even if it is resonating with you it can be getting so caught up in like the title of things that there's like a it limits you it begins limiting you because you're like well if I'm this then I'm not that over there you know and so it becomes um like one dimensional and having the devil here this can be anything that's I'm here in corporate America again I I see this more as like an energetic thing rather than literally I know a lot of you are not from America. Some are, yes, but I'm seeing this more so be like that sort of mentality of like overworking and status and just the focus on all of the material stuff. The devil can also represent the industry as well. Again, I'm seeing this be connected. I'm here in court. I'm seeing this be connected with like your title, role, jobs, career, stuff like that. And what I'm getting is that you may have been around people that were, again, like encouraging this from you, but you being in a space where you're like, in an earthly sense, this may feel fulfilling to you, but then you're feeling that like lack of sensation and connectivity when it comes to your spirituality or this deeper sense of you. Because I'm seeing the Scorpio, Scorpio came out like right after this. And so you're being shown as like a character of depth here. And with the devil, this can be like, I think that I'm going to like satiate this through some sort of like worldly power or way. And then you get to this point where you're like, I'm actually going to have to like burn all of that to be able to truly and authentically connect with people that can meet me in that deep place on that deep level. And so this would be like the devil is not a bad thing to see. The devil just represents worldliness and things that are finite. And so 
again, like this can satiate a sense of worldliness and feeling even like a worldly king of some sort. And then you getting to this point where you're like, but why do I feel empty when it comes to these other parts of me and I don't have people around me or I'm not doing something that feels fulfilling in those deep, deep parts of me. And so there's like this being reevaluated now within you. And also the people that you connect with. Because you could have been around people that were like reinforcing just this worldly aspect of you. Where you're like, I'm multidimensional. That's not all that I am. And so for some of you, there's like a shutting process that you're going through right now. When it comes to like socially who you associate with. And also who you're exchanging your energy with. And you may be gravitating more towards people that you feel like see you hear you can hold you in space energetically people that are present with you people that will dive down deep to where you're going and the joy that comes from that authentic connection i'm hearing reclamation I'm also seeing there be stability within these connections too, which what's interesting is that the Ten of Cups is above the Ten of Pentacles. You could have been at a point where you were like, if I get these like resources or this stuff in a world, the material stuff, then I'm going to be able to like feel happy. But I'm actually seeing there, there be like a reversal of the process where you're like, I need to get things right emotionally mentally spiritually energetically and then i'm seeing like the other stuff be connecting for you so by you following like your bliss rather than resources i'm seeing that you end up accomplishing both of these things it's just in like a different order than you had thought You may really be separating yourself from worldly stuff now at this point because I'm almost seeing there be this like looking back at these things that you had been connecting with and you may see them as like in hindsight you would look at this and be like of course that was like empty of course that was like lacking substance but it may be a bit of a pessimistic standpoint I want to get further and see what this is about. There may just be some stuff emotionally that you're still moving through when it comes to all of this. That, like, you're still working through. Because there may be still, like, a lens that you can access where you look at things, but it's still, um, I don't know. Something is, you're becoming aware of something Something is coming to light to you, maybe about how you've been like looking back at something and maybe even judging it in some way or critiquing it. Because you could look at something and be like, that thing isn't for me, but you could have been looking at it through like some sort of judgmental lens, whether this was applied to like you and your past or this is applied to some area of life that you don't necessarily associate yourself with anymore. Which is just you again, like working through this process for yourself. I'm also seeing there be an awareness that like something had been potentially like breeding jealousy or insecurity within your life as well. Reminds me of that notion of like, like it'll never be enough, like needing to get more money and be around more people and this and I'm going to buy that thing and I'm just going to like fill up on all of that stuff and just feeling like... um feeling like it just keeps going down the drain and it never like really fills up
So yeah, whatever this is that you felt within your life that you've been overdoing, whether this was something physically that you were overdoing or this was something internally that... that was very much tied to and identifying with worldliness. I'm seeing you go through a purification process and I'm seeing that there's a celebration and there's connectivity when you come out on the other side of this and I'm seeing even like people around you. So this doesn't even look like, it doesn't look like you just connecting with one person there. It looks like this purification that you go through, there's like a community on the other side of that and this is what I'm seeing you connect with and I'm seeing you truly feel like you're in a space of utter fulfillment and also stability, like in a way that you had wanted but maybe didn't know how to get to before and now I'm seeing something be surrounding you like holding you even in that space. Now I'm also seeing something come up for you where you're getting like a warning signal about something and I don't know if this is like a mindset that you are slipping into or it can be like an aspect of your shadow coming out or this can be somebody around you that you feel could be like triggering you in some way to sort of like pull you back into this. It can be like this for some of you. It can be like you haven't gotten away from some type of material prominence or really like putting that on a pedestal and you have somebody coming through where that stuff is really important to them and they may be like skewing your perspective, like projecting energy onto you, whether that be conscious or not. So this person comes through and say... Say you like were really into cars before, not that you can't still be into cars, um, but like something material, right? And you like shed certain things and you were like, I want to focus on and navigate towards like this path, um, like on my spiritual journey. And so I'm going to put um, like more of a, more of an emphasis on this thing. And I don't want to get caught up um in like the material stuff right now because I'm like unlearning or I'm learning to let go or I'm learning not to prioritize this more than these other things that I need to do. So for whatever reason, it's like not as relevant to you anymore. You have somebody coming through that's like, oh, a person isn't like special if they don't have this type of car or a person isn't valuable if they don't have that. And this could be like triggering something within you where you feel something coming up that you've been working on. And this is showing you something, something within you, it's reflecting something within you that may be coming up, that may be uncomfortable, but it's like reminiscent of something that you've worked through and been working through. So there may be something that you end up reworking. I want to get one more card. This can be somebody that brings you back into, whether this be a new person or an old person, this can be somebody that brings you back into like maybe a past self. And you being like, I don't fit there anymore. Like, I don't want to be squished into that anymore. And again, this could be bringing something up for you. I'm seeing the world here. You're going to, going to be completing a cycle. I'm getting confirmation of this. Your guides, it seems like something in the past could have come into your reality and there would not have been like an awareness of this particular type of frequency. Maybe because that's actually like the frequency that you were on before. Now, because there's been... Um, an increase in your vibration, you're vibrating at a different level, something is coming in that's at a lower vibration and now you are able to spot that and see that and also see how it could potentially project onto you and influence you. So now it may actually be about like what you do about that. I'm seeing your guides, this has more so been about like you needing to notice that. 
and also recognize too where your energy is and where it stops versus where another person's is and somebody can come through and again come in with that energy of being like if a person doesn't have this type of car they're not worth anything and you can meet this person at eye level and be like that's that person's opinion that's not my opinion and that's okay that that's that person's opinion and not feel like you need to be guilty for not having that and then not feeling like you need to be motivated to go after that and not being mad at them for having a different opinion or anything like that um but rather respecting where this person is and meeting them there with whatever this may be because i doubt for many of you that this is actually about a car i see this as being many 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 different things but something that you feel like you've kind of risen out of and now you're looking back at and this can also be you dabbling in something with like your past self as well so we are looking at capricorn i'm hearing virgo very strongly um capricorn scorpio the sun and saturn Okay, my friends, we are going to leave the reading here. I would like to thank everybody for joining. Thank you for tuning in. I'm wishing everybody love and light and healing, and I hope to catch you guys next time.